Hygiene specialists are on the front line of infection prevention. Welcome, and thank you for coming today. You'll be learning about a new way of removing soil and providing a safe, clean, and disinfectant environment for your residents. You'll be introduced to the best in-class micro denure fibers, dusters and mops that'll help you work efficiently and with less physical effort, while preventing the spread of dangerous microorganisms. Prepare items on the cart required to process the resident's room. This includes an orange wiper, a blue wiper, an orange flat mop, a blue flat mop, the orange mitt, the blue dust mop, and the flexible overhead duster. Next, with a gloved hand, take your flat mop and roll it as shown. You'll want to roll it and then place it in the bucket so that it's two-thirds submerged in the solution. With gloved hands, mist the entire toilet with disinfectant. This includes the top and bottom of the seat cover, the flusher, the tank if it's applicable, the seat top, and inside of the toilet bowl. Additionally, mist the toilet base and the surrounding floor area. Do not wipe the bathroom down at this time. While you're waiting for the disinfectant to work, go to the resident room and inspect for any debris. Inspect the resident's room for debris. Empty the waste containers and wipe around the garbage can. It's recommended that you always start high to low as you work your way towards the exit door. To access hard to reach areas, attach the telescoping handle. Once affixed, use the flexible duster to clean difficult spots, such as overhead lights, corners of the calling, above the window treatments, and other problematic spots. Take a blue wiper and apply a two-fold method, leaving you with eight clean sections. Mist or dampen the wiper. Wipe down all the environmental surfaces, tables, bed rails if applicable, the window sills, the desk, the dresser tops, the chair arms, and so on. Prior to leaving the resident's room, inspect and spot clean as appropriate, using the clean side of the blue wiper. Once finished, Put the blue soiled wiper in a laundry bag. Remember, only one wiper per room, as this eliminates cross-contamination. We must remember to use the color code system to stop cross-contamination at each doorway and to always use a clean set for each room. Remember, the blue mops and wipers are used for the living spaces, while the orange mops and wipes are used for the bathrooms. It's important to have the correct height of the handle for the user to achieve proper ergonomics. The hygiene specialist will now demonstrate how to adjust the length of the handle accordingly. Turn to loosen and adjust so that the handle, when resting on the ground, the top reaches the hygienist's chin. Tighten the handle and take the long end of the frame and place it over the dust mop, stepping on the frame to secure it. Grip the handles loosely in order to obtain the correct motion. The proper method of dust mopping is a figure eight starting at the far end of the room and working your way out of the room towards the door. The proper way to remove moisture from the perfect clean wet mop is as follows. Reach down and grab the mop out of the solution. Squeeze hard, turn over, and squeeze hard again so that it doesn't drip. It's important that it's a damp mop, not a wet mop. Place the damp mop on the floor in an area the furthest from the door. Place the frame down. Step on the frame to secure the mop to it, and place the mop on the frame. Remember to let the fiber do the cleaning work. Removing the damp mop at the doorway is similar to the dust mop. Pick up, fold, and place in the soiled linens bag. Now return to the bathroom. Start by wiping down the toilet seat with the tag side up of the orange mitt. Continue and clean the entire toilet. Then, turn the orange mitt over and clean the underside of the toilet seat and rim. Take the orange mitt off and place it in the soiled linens bag. Scrub the toilet bowl with a brush. Then close the lid, and now you can flush. Before cleaning the bathroom, fold the orange cloth in half, and then in half again. 
to provide multiple clean sides and better pressure points when using the perfect clean orange cloth. Clean the mirror. Wipe down faucets and sink. Then turn the cloth over to a clean side, mist the new clean side, and wipe down the railings, plates, light switches, and toilet paper holders. If doorknobs are present, wipe those down as well. Using a 12-inch orange flat mop, start high on the shower walls and work your way down to the tub. Following the facility's protocol for cleaning showers, the final step will be to dry the shower walls and allow the perfect clean fiber to remove any remaining bacteria from the surfaces. Using the orange cloth, wipe down all the chrome areas, shower curtain rods, and other exposed areas, such as the drain. Remember, this is a bathroom area, so we're going to use the orange cloth to avoid any cross-contamination. Thank you for participating in this training. You're now a certified hygiene specialist. You will receive your certificate and PIN. Congratulations from Encompass Group, LLC, and Perfect Clean. Encompass Group. Better care starts with safety and comfort. Perfect Clean. Cleaning up the environment one room at a time.